Speaking of, um, you know, predators, <laughs> there is a CIA agent who just got sentenced to 40 years in prison for one of the biggest data breaches in the agency's history. And he was indicted on child photo charges, too, on top of it. So this man, Joshua Schultz, who's 35, uh, was sentenced in Manhattan court, uh, federal court this past Thursday. Um, and I mean, he's accused of hacking, espionage, contempt of court, making false statements to the FBI and the child stuff, which just gross. And the reason he did it literally is so dumb. It's so dumb. He he claims he did it for revenge against the people above him because he complained about the workplace environment and they didn't listen to him. He committed like treason and leaked super secret information to WikiLeaks, like super secret. And it's one of the biggest leaks ever in U.S. history because he was not happy about the workplace environment <laughs> in the CIA. I mean, I, if that's it, if that's, that's what it. he claims, that's what he claims. Um, <clears throat> I mean, he might have been approached and, and you realize you can like be put to death for that without a trial. Um, so they could have approached him and been like, look, this is what you're gonna say. If you want to have any chance at living, you know, this is True. what you're going to say. You don't have a choice, you know? Yeah. That, that is a crime and a direct attack against our federal government. Like that, but that doesn't slide ever. You know what I mean? That, that's one of the most serious things you could do. Ever And if you have enough intelligence to be a CIA officer, then you uh, have clearly enough up there to pass the tests and the requirements to get on there. You knew what you were doing. Yeah. You knew. Yeah, he knew. Um, so he was passing all this data on to WikiLeaks. Um, it says that WikiLeaks began publishing the classified data from the stolen CIA files in March 2017, which Schultz transmitted from his home computer in 2016. Um, he wiped and reformatted his home computers and internal hard drives. Uh, they also felt like he'd Smart, never, but... they feel like he doesn't really understand the weight of what he did still, even after this. Um, I mean, I don't think he did either. Does, like I said, does this guy understand that the offense that you committed, like, you can be sent away with no trial, dude? Yeah. From, from what I've read, I get that impression too that he doesn't, he kind of comes off like a brat. Like, he doesn't really understand what he did like well, maybe it's good he got arrested then Jeez. i know so it it's this is judge jesse Furman saying that we'll probably never know the extent of the damage he did but one of the things that they mentioned was leaked is that the cia hacked smartphones and overseas spying operations along with their efforts to turn internet-connected televisions into listening devices. <laughs> we yeah. were just talking about TVs in one of the cases we were covering and how if it was possible to pull audio or video because they all have mics and cameras in them now. Yep. Is that recording somewhere and how do people turn that on to record? I mean, I've heard somewhere. I don't know this for sure because I haven't looked into the science behind it, but I've been told before that anything that has a micro or anything that has a speaker can also be used as a microphone. Not good quality, but it can be. Uh, I don't know if there's a way to even hack into items that only have, you know, an a speaker or a uh, yeah a speaker um, and and 
or what, but uh, it's interesting. It's an interesting idea. I don't know. But this doesn't surprise me. I know that we have back ways into electronics. Like, that's not surprising. I wonder what countries they were doing that in. I don't like it. Don't get me wrong. I don't like that. But there's nothing I can say that's going to stop it. So, you know, it, I don't live a criminal life. So, what, you you want to listen to me, like eat my snacks at night, you know? True. True. You're not going to get much from me either. Yeah. You're probably just going to be grossed out when you watch me through my TV. Um, <laughs> it, it says, though, that he had thousands upon thousands of images of young children. Um, that's the most concerning. That's super concerning. It kind of makes me wonder, since he was involved in this major leak in this way, and he was doing that, what else was this guy up to? Do they even know everything he was up to? Because yeah. this is sketchy. Look, I, I'm just going to give a flip of a coin type <laughs> suggestion, right? Mm -hmm. Uh what if this guy was a mole, an effective mole from another country that was sent here to, you know, be raised American and join the uh, join the CIA in this way? And he was passing documents along. You tell me if that were the case. Do you wholeheartedly believe that? the central intelligence agency and our government would come out and admit, Hey guys, we've been duped. Yeah. I don't think they would. I, I think that would be confidential. I agree. Yeah. I, I don't agree. think they would come out and say, Oh my gosh, we had a mole and they really got us. Agreed. You know? <laughs> Agreed. Yeah. But so maybe this is a situation like that. I, I don't know. Yeah. Um, so apparently he said during his sentencing hearing that the government was seeking vengeance against him, not justice. Uh, he added that he was motivated by anger, spite, and perceived grievance against those at the CIA that be he believed ignored his complaints about the work environment. I'll get out of here. I mean, that's so absurd. There's such a fine line between just justice and vengeance. Essentially, Justice is if they follow the laws of the U.S. Vengeance is what? Because they're taking pride in catching you and, you know what I mean? Right. Show me where they're breaking the law. I mean, by all accounts, what he did was absolutely horrible. Um, he compromised national security. Wow. A pedo. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like he's all of the worst things, yeah, all of the worst things. Um, and he seems to not care at all. The drawing of him makes him look odd, mm -hmm. like really odd. <laughs> um, but I thought the whole smart TV thing was interesting. Um, that's really what caught my eye the most from it, and where I was like, because I don't care about this guy, let him rot, you know what I mean. Uh, but the whole smart TV thing and knowing that WikiLeaks has been getting this information, like real classified information that they shouldn't have been. Can they take action against WikiLeaks for that? Um, I, I would need to update myself on the laws. I believe so. I believe that anything that came from him is considered federal government property. Like they own that. It doesn't matter if it's a word, a singular word, or if it's 10 million words, you know, it, that is the federal government's property. So sure. I think maybe so. Um, but, uh, I mean, there's a lot that goes into trying to track somebody down that knows what they're doing, uh, with technology and good luck. You know what I mean? Right. Like, how are you going to hold someone accountable if you can't find them? <clears throat> so, well, uh, let me know what you guys think about this story. It's a it's a crazy one. Yeah. Maybe um try to find out where the computer or, or camera and microphone are in your TV and cover it with a little piece of tape like the FBI suggests. <laughs> 
I joke. Maybe. 